Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about variable scope. Now this is very important to understand the scope of the variable when you declare and wanted to access that variable. Sometimes if you are accessing variable outside of the scope, then you will get an error message. Taking this tutorial will help you to use proper variable scope and take away error messages. So let's get started and understand what is scope. Scope determine when and where variables, constants and arguments are considered to be defined. Now you know that arguments in the function only accessible in the function body. For example, if we declare a function here, so I will say function f, I will specify one argument here, so I will say x and return this argument so I will say return x divided by 2 I will just call this function so I will say console.log and in the parenthesis I will just call this function and specify argument so I will say f and in the parenthesis I will specify 10 so when you execute this statement you will get 5 on the console now I just wanted to access the x variable outside of the function. So I will say console.log and say x here. So when you execute this, you will get an error message. You will get a reference error message which says x is not defined. You can see you can't access function arguments outside of the function, right? Now let's understand what is lexical scoping. So when you look at the program, you are looking at the lexical structure. When the program actually runs, execution can jump around. Consider the following example and understand how lexical scoping works. So I will say function f1 and here in the body of that function, I will specify console.log and say function 1 after that I will declare one more function so I will say function 2 and say console.log function 2 now I will just call this function randomly so I will say f2 f1 and then call f2 so this program is just a series of statements that we generally read from top to bottom. So when you execute this statement, it will first call the second function, then call the first function and call the second function again. So you will get function 2, function 1 and again function 2 on the console, right? A lexical scope in JavaScript means that a variable defined outside a function can be accessible inside another function defined after the variable declaration. Consider the following example. So we will take one more example. So I will say constant x is equal to 5 and after that I will declare a function here. So I will say function f and in that function I will say console.log and access the outside variable so I will say x here and just after that I will say console.log and call the y variable when you complete this function just after that I will declare y variable here so I will say constant y is equal to 4 and then I will call the function now I have a question that whether the variable can be accessed within the function if we declare them outside of the function scope. The answer is yes. You can access the outside variables in the function. So this program execute top to bottom but when you call the function we already declared the variable. So here because we did not specify any scope to the variable you can access it inside of the function. So here we first declare x and y variable and then call the function, right? But what if we declare a variable after the function invoke? If you do that, you will get an error message on the console. 
The reason behind this, when you call the function, you are accessing the variable without declaring it. As per JavaScript rule says, you can't access the variable without declaring it. So in this example, we call function and then declare the variable y. So that is why you will get an error message of undefined y variable, right? That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. In the next tutorial, we will understand what is global scoping. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.